Steph is playing cue. A little bit more sport, though. Greenock Morton Football Club has found a new group of fans. They're anything but local. In fact, some have come from thousands of miles away. They are Filipino and Italian sailors who've been stranded in Greenock for nearly three months after their ship was impounded. Amy Clark reports. This bulk carrier hasn't been carrying anything since August. Impounded in Greenock till financial issues are sorted out. The crew, comprising Filipinos and Italians, are embracing the local culture. Keen football fans, they discovered Morton's home ground was just a short walk from their ship. And so the 19-strong crew have been getting a taste of first division football, which makes a welcome change from their own kickabouts on the quayside. We are happy to, to watch the game and then we enjoy it so much. So who would you normally be supporting? What's your team? Martin, Martin. <laughs> Here we find out that the, the people are very crazy in football, no? And the people are very, you know, the crowd are good, they're very happy. Quite a relaxed crowd watching the Morton team training today. The club are sitting third in the first division and on a six-match unbeaten run. A good time to be picking up new fans. It's good to know that we've got people from uh, obviously a different country. Uh, maybe it's uh, not understanding Scottish football, we think it's up and under. Uh, back to front, kick and rush, we actually try to play a bit of football and I think they've praised us for that. We hope there's another 3,000 Filipinos on that, that boat that might come in and watch us next week. The club's global appeal, though, is nothing new. Here in the Morton shop, they're well aware of the club's international following. They're regularly sending strips to Australia, New Zealand, America, even Japan. But maybe these new fans might be better to stick to just spectating. Aileen Clark, Reporting Scotland, Greenock. Oh no, I've got a weather now from Christmas. Jackie.